Hello everyone and welcome back to Build HMS Victory. So I just want to do this video update, just a little bit of an update. Like I said, this is the first time that obviously I haven't built a uh, HMS Victory, nearly three months. So like I said, I want to kind of bring you all up to date with kind of what I'm doing and obviously the, uh, the plans for the next three or four videos. So like I say, so pretty much since I touched it last time, which was around about three months ago, the only thing I've actually done is kind of just finished off this uh, this cat head and obviously I've just finished off that off today and obviously I've put this uh, decorative scroll in so I'll bring you a bit closer and we'll kind of talk through what I just did on this section okay so all I've done from the last video is how did this uh, starboard side obviously decorative scroll to the cat head obviously I finished off this, this cat head block I've actually put a little uh, decorative crown end piece on and I've kind of finished off painting all this in as well okay so it's decorative uh, Decorative kit was part of the uh, obviously all this uh, bow section kit that I got from Woody's Model Works. And I think when I did the uh, the port side one, I actually kind of made a few mistakes in this where I actually broke a few and actually ended up joining them with super glue. But I found out when I did this starboard one that actually if you just dip them in a little bit of water, it makes them a lot more pliable and it can be obviously bent to fit into place a lot easier. But what I decided to do with this one that I didn't do with the port side one is I actually I actually um, glued it in, obviously unpainted, and then once it was actually attached, then I kind of painted the yellow ochre, and then obviously the uh, French blue scroll in the section as well. Okay, so one of the things that I changed from obviously how we kind of build the instruction, I just finished, I just reworked these timber head sections. I wasn't kind of happy how this uh, timber head finished because we pretty much, obviously, the uh, this top scroll section pretty much finishes there. So I needed a way of kind of joining these two parts up into the forecast. And I wanted to try and make it a little bit more, to, obviously to how the one on the HMS Victory looks rather than the one how it looks on the kit. So, okay, so you can see how this angle is a lot more in keeping when obviously how the one looks on HMS Victory. So it's a little lava rather like a double plank and obviously when we kind of build the one with the instructions all really we had on the corner is just one line it just it didn't look right so i kind of like i say i cut out this section i cut some slots into this uh this four castle timbers then i made myself just a double section one and i fitted it above, across the uh cappings and also it fitted across this one and i just think that looks a little bit better now I would have done it once he uh, just following the instructions. So I actually, uh, I'd actually done the port side one, but obviously when I went to glue it in place, I actually broke it for around about the fourth time. So like I say, I've just ordered another one off it. What is model works and I'll be here soon. Yeah, so my next video, I'm gonna kind of work on this, these co-op arms and all the rest of the decorative pieces that we kind of get with this kit. So I'm thinking about obviously just doing a little step-by-step uh, -step, uh, video painting these. And these are going to obviously fit on the bow, pretty much something like that. We also get like the little crown head that fits on the top. It's quite nice, some nice parts coming in. So we also get these little little cherubs that go in the side. So it's like these are actually a little bit oversized, but I don't mind. You can actually get some smaller ones, ones that are a bit more to scale to this. But actually, because it's the because uh, it's the core arms, I don't actually mind this one being a little bit oversize on this victory because it's just going to really gonna, and that's all painted up it's really going to pop so like i say so people are interested in obviously watching me paint all these decorative pieces just let me know in the comments like i say because nowadays nowadays i make a lot of more videos just listening to what people want okay so that could be a uh, possible uh, maybe the next next week's video okay so once i've kind of done that video where i paint all the uh, figureheads for the front of the bow pretty much gonna you know, then i turn my attention back to stern yeah so like i say so since i worked on this video such a long time ago see i've just kind of never progressed with finishing off this stern just because i was kind of waiting for a solution to present itself just because i weren't happy with these these are the little balances that we kind of got with the kit massively out of scale and obviously on this part of the uh, the uh, quarter gallery it's uh, the angle's completely wrong. So like I say, since, since I did the last video, I'm now obviously working with uh, Woody's Model Works. He needs to design these, these really ac more accurate baluster rails. This is actually the, uh, the port side one. I haven't actually got one for the starboard side. I'm just waiting that for me sent for me. But these are going to be obviously sprayed and just fitted into the place. And it's just going to look so much more accurate than these baluster rails in this uh, quarter, quarter galleries. Okay, so not only the quarter galleries need finish, 
I've got all this uh, back in this gallery section, just turning gallery is finishing. And I've got like a complete set of these uh, baluster rails. It's kind of going to fit between the window bays. And these are going to be fitted. Just like that. These are look. It's 100 times better than, like, say, than the ones with a kit. We've got some ones that's kind of going to fit just between the windows, different size ones. But not only that, we've got this nice uh, photo weight set as well for all these like decorative trims. It's going to get fit. I've just been test fitting some of the older parts. These kind of parts are going to get worked, fitted into the end. So I say so these are going to need obviously paint on the coating and painting. So I say so that's going to be uh, what I'll be working on in the, uh, the stern gallery video. And I've also got this nice HMS Victory Strass sign and plus some Roman numerals with the waterline marks as well. This is going to get fitted. Just nice at the bottom, the nice victory signs. Yeah, so like I say, there's still plenty to be uh, going up with the victory. Like I say, I know I've not really done a lot in the last uh, three months, but like I say, sometimes it's kind of good to have a little bit of break away from it, and then you kind of get re-energized and kind of want to work on it again. That's how I feel in the minute now. I kind of want to kind of spend some time working on it again. I'm planning on probably working up to around about maybe I can probably do around about uh, three or four more videos and then I'm pretty much going to be getting to the section for the one I'm going to start thinking about obviously uh, putting on the mass and like I say I've done all, all my mass and like I say people's watched my videos all my mass and yards are all complete I think the only one I've got left to do is just uh, a couple of yards that kind of go on the bowsprit and that's pretty much uh, all done so I'm going to be getting to the task of obviously rigging this and like I say, that I'm going to be honest with people, I'm actually, uh, I'm not looking forward to that. And the only reason I'm not looking forward to it, I haven't actually rigged the ship in, uh, in coming up to 20 years now. Like I say, I've, I've, I have no worries about the model making skills for actually making the model, which is obviously making it so it looks like this. But yeah, to actually, it's a, it's a completely different art rigging. It's a completely different skill set. And like I say, I've kind of, you know I mean, I've got no issues worrying about obviously my uh, ability to make this model. Well, my ability to rig rig something, the one I've not done it for 20 years, yeah, it's a little bit daunting. So I have, I have having a little bit, uh, maybe a, a bit different opinion. So there might be something I might do that might I might bring it in. Once I get to stage where this needs rigging, I've actually been, I've had a few people ask me if, I, if I'm willing to do like a, like a beginner's, a beginner's ship. Because like I said, there's no way HMS Victory, I would ever recommend somebody who's never built a model one ship to start directly on HMS Victory. And it's probably why 90% of HMS Victories never get, never get finished. So what I'm actually thinking about doing is actually when I get to the rigging stage, is actually getting a small, small kit, which I would probably class as a beginner's kit, probably like a single mass cutter. And that's what I'm thinking about doing and actually and building that from start to finish so I can do it as a complete build and then I can I can rig that so like it's a single mass with only two yards that need rigging so I can probably practice my my rigging skills on a little uh, like a little cutter and then I can bring them skills I've remembered and learned again over from the HMS, from the little cutter build back over to HMS Victory because like I say I only spent two years two or two and a half years now what you mean working on something like this the last thing you want to do is really mess it up like because obviously like i say it's, you ask anybody any one ship builder nobody nobody looks forward to the rigging section and i'm not myself as well so like i say so like I say, if i just rehome my skills on a smaller cutter i think that might be better plus like i say one of my biggest regrets is when i did this haitian victory is i kind of never started filming it until i've actually, actually pretty much done laid all the keel down i've done all the ribs and i pretty much planked this before I even start filming. So I thought, I thought it'd be quite good to actually show it from from the keel up. Like I said, it'd be quite a good build. Because I still get a lot of people say to me like, oh, where's your early videos when you're adding all the uh, the ribs in and the um, and obviously all the framing. And my answer is, I, I never started uh, recording it to that stage. So like I say, so sometimes this HS Victory video, will all, this series will always probably feel a little bit incomplete because I never started it right at the beginning. But it's just a thought, and like I say, so it depends on what kind of feedback I get from people, whether it's something people would be interested in seeing. But, but I think you would, because I get the comments all the time, like saying, oh, would you, would you, would you, would you? but I'd really like you to start beginners one. Okay, so like I say, so I just want to do this bit of a, a quick update, Let's just to make sure to let people know that I'm actually, I'm still working on Patriots Victory. I mean, people who build these know that these are labours of love and sometimes they do, they do get shelled for months and end. I know even sometimes people shell them for like years, but, but wooden model building has always been my first love. I, mean, I, just, I just love the, uh, 
you mean the, the skill set you need to kind of build one of these beautiful crafts and like say after after two years of building this yeah i mean it's a i mean i'm not saying i'm not gonna have my own nest but yeah it's a it's something that you'd be proud to show to anybody so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all again soon take care everyone